Libra, oh Libra. What's up, baby? What's poppin'? Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot Channel. <laughs> this is your first time viewing my channel. Hey, how you doing? Hey, boo, hey, I'm Mocha. Also, this is your first time viewing my channel. Thank you so much for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the love. This girl, me, this girl right here, she appreciates it, okay? Thank y'all so very much. Keep it coming, okay? Y'all love gets me through all of the likes bullshit, okay? And some of the randomest but most perfect moments, all right? Um, for everybody else, don't be mad, Libra. I did show for everybody else on camera, but because I have to do this live Q&A in less than an hour, um, I had to try and save me some time here, okay? Um, technically speaking, I wasn't supposed to do y'all video till tomorrow, but I said, hey, what's up, baby? I mean, that and um, literally I was pulled to do y'all reading yesterday, but I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't really like the energy that I got from the Libra reading yesterday. 90% of that stuff is still here, but it's not as heavy, okay? Um, energies can shift, all right? So maybe some of y'all are having a better day. But yesterday, trying to channel y'all energy was no fun. It wasn't. <laughs> I don't love you no less. It just means that, oh my goodness, um, Libra, intuitively, you having to let people, places, things go. You don't want to. It hurt. A lot of y'all have are turning your pain into power in order to find success and learning the art of doing so. A lot of y'all are having to cut off a lot of family dynamics and it don't feel good because Libra stands for the we. I want everybody to get along. However, you got to be Libra at this time who you're cutting off because some of y'all are starting to realize and will be realizing from the 15th to the 31st that some of y'all in the midst of cutting off you're cutting off lifelines. And when cutting off lifelines, Libra, some of y'all are cutting off people who mean nothing but love to offer you genuineness. And y'all taking their words and going left with them, but some of these people are trying to help you bring balance to your situations. And unfortunately, you're pushing them out with the bad seeds. And the outcome of that is some of y'all off your rockers. You're needing balance. Balance is being restored back in the lives of Libras from the 15th to the 31st of July. And I knew that because I got the two of air. Look at this. Look at your scales. Balance, okay? Also, up underneath that funny part is, is that <laughs> the body and mind. There needs to be a balance between the two, Libra. Do not wear your feelings on your sleeve at this time because you are going through a lot of karmic things, honestly, that you have to let go. Some of the people in your life are bringing karma to y'all. That's not even your karma. But because you step in the way for the we and the me, boom, you get hit. Y'all also, these are the dreams of uh, Gaia Tarot Dick, y'all, okay? Y'all also, who's the Ada Bear? You see how that man is punctured? In a sense, he's chained to a situation, okay? He's not even really chained. Those, He's just holding the damn shackles in his hand. But he's chained to a situation, okay, that is hurtful, okay? And still trying to stand, have, as, uh, the other side of him is trying to stand upright in it. However, okay, for some of y'all, you need to trust your intuition because intuitively you already know you sit, you're standing in situations that the balance in the situation ain't the same. Okay, Y'all are giving more to people than you're getting back. Y'all giving upright love. Y'all giving communication to somebody who continuously hurts you. The fact that I have the justice card, the hierophant card. In the same reading next to each other. Mother Karma is on the move, Libra. Stay woke. Okay? So, I have to point that out, okay? I don't know if I said this for the Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus cross watchers of Libra from mid July, okay? But 
It's not personal. Uh, if you need a personal, I'm not 100% booked. Please hit me up. Um, my turnaround time is always less than 24 hours. So if you need that reading, hit me up. Okay. So let's get it. I pulled Doreen Virtue, um, the Crystal Angels deck. Okay. And these were, I was actually trying to pull one, four fell. So I took them. Okay. But ironically, they all have to do with, I told you, Mother Karma's on the move past life, uh, closing out past life karma, as well as knowing when to cut situations off when they're no longer serving you, but they're not working out for the better, for the, for your best interest, okay? Peridot is the first message I got. This card says life lessons. You can break free from recurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and blessing they contain, okay? What I feel like that's saying to you Libras are I feel like a lot of people in y'all life, a lot of things that's going on in y'all world, it's, it's, it's like y'all can't get off this hamster wheel. Like, what what am I doing? What what am I doing as to where these circumstances can't change in my life? And what you're doing is that you're allowing the same people, places, things, circumstances to come into your life openly versus using your discernment on what the fuck they showed you before. Okay? Smoky Quartz. Clearing negativity. Release negativity from within or around you balance your mind your body your spirit because i feel like a lot of y'all are holding on to resentments and holding on to what people did to you but you're keeping the people around you and then you're cutting off the good people who telling you oh you need to get that motherfucker from around you because such and such oh you you don't know and this 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 so you cut their ass off but if you cut everybody off who've done nothing but love you who can you run to Jade, wellness, the recovery of health and wellness is here. God and your angels want you to know that you're never alone. You're never alone. But a lot of y'all, y'all forgetting that seems like from the 15th to, y'all, I feel like, well, from the 15th to 31st, y'all are going to get y'all life. But thus far, y'all have really been forgetting that you never walk alone. You understand? You never walk alone. All right? So all of this trying to balance things out your damn self is only throwing you in, throwing you in the box of in, in, in the midst of Mother Karma's way. And she takes no prisoners. If you want to get in the way, you can get this work too. I feel like this is around y'all and the people that is around Libra. But I feel like Libra needs to focus on Libra at this point. Sapphire, easy does it. Your health and abundance requires a gentle approach to life and work. If people have already shown you who they are, why do you keep letting them in to show you again? That You have to begin to question your self-love at that point, Libra, or whoever this is around you, okay? But I strongly feel like my angel said, I'm talking to Libra. Thank you, Amy. I'm talking to Libra. Libra, okay? My messages today have been kind of mommy-ish. I've been on y'all ass because certain things, it's time for the bullshit to stop. I know y'all noticing all the crazy shit happening in this world. And right now, people are making choices on what side of the fence they want to stand on. Okay? So, Libra, if a person continues to do fuckery and you're trying to help them and save them, but they fuckery drags you to the ground, know that you need to get the fuck out the way because Mother Karma takes no prisoners. Okay? Let's get it. All right, so from the 15th to the 31st of July, I do see Libra. Y'all are going to be, either you are going to be coming in, okay, but you're going to, some of y'all got a fire sign coming in, every little sad, okay, or maybe y'all moving towards this person to come and balance out the karmic skills, okay. I do see some of y'all um, are trying to fix a family situation, someone who you have to do with, especially if you're dealing with a fire sign or air sign, okay. I do see some of y'all are, some of y'all are stalking someone. Or have someone stalking you. Maybe it's somebody who you cut off, or you, or you cut off, or you could have cut that person off. For some of y'all, it's a Leo. Okay. For some of y'all, it's an Aries. But some of y'all, y'all are dealing with the Taurus. Okay. If you're dealing with the Taurus or any Earth sign for that matter, because it's strong emphasis on Taurus. So I feel like if you're dealing with a Taurus, and you've been dealing with a Taurus, karmic justice is coming to that situation. Okay. I feel like if you have children with the Taurus and maybe that person their relationship have become up to a burdensome state you get what I'm saying it could be Capricorn Virgo or Taurus but the relationship has come 
has become burdensome. You get what I'm saying? You want this family dynamic, but the only thing they want is sex and passion. I feel like that could be a fire energy as well. I feel like you want to balance the skills with certain things, you know, as far as communication with love. And only thing this person want to do when you talk about it is communicate childishly and recklessly. Okay. They, and, and, and I feel like this is an energy that stalks and not talks. Libra, this could be you or the other person. I feel like some of y'all are having strength in the marriage with the, with the, uh, having, trying to have strength in the marriage with the Taurus or Leo. Okay. Um, however, it's becoming very burdensome. And I feel like some of y'all feeling like y'all have lost y'all power. But a lot of y'all, y'all walking into y'all power after possibly or gaining your power back, possibly from a fire sign or earth sign who you possibly cut off. You have a strength in trying to push forward and focus on your money. Some of y'all got a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn pregnant. Or if someone in your energy got somebody pregnant. And I feel like this was the straw that broke the camel's back for y'all. That will be coming to the forefront from the 15th to the 31st of uh, July. I strongly feel that Libra, y'all just really wanting y'all balance back. Y'all feel like everything around y'all have pretty much lost its control. Y'all trying to have strength and stay in charge of the situation. But carrying everybody's burdens is knocking y'all off y'all shit. That's what it is. You have to put these burdens down. One by one, it's up to you to acknowledge who, what, 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 where are these burdens? Who are, who are, what are these burdens in my life? If I put them down, how can I positively be affected? For some of y'all, y'all are burdened, burdened behind in Aries, okay? Or burdened behind maybe the responsibility and work. Some of y'all could have gotten a promotion or something, and now you the boss. you just like, damn, this shit comes with too many responsibilities. I got enough shit going on in my life. How can I nurture this? How can I make this work for me, okay? For some of y'all, y'all got a Virgo Capricorn Taurus uh, who y'all have a, maybe y'all have a passionate connection with, okay? But maybe you want to offer this person something solid, okay? However, I feel like there's no balance in that relationship because I feel like one person wants love and commitment and all of that and one person want to do what the hell they want to do libra some of y'all again communication all right with this mercury and mars uh, i believe it's pluto and venus retrograde there is definitely love and passion in the air however with mercury and mars can jump with each other one is a planet of war that's the planet that's the aries planet right now libra and aries may not have the best of relationships we are definitely opposites and with that one is a planet of um, communication and the other is a planet of war. So people, the communication when you're talking to people these days and going into um, the end of this month, I ain't gonna lie to you. It might be a little reckless, okay? Libra, I feel like you're wanting what's best for everybody and you're having to see that in the midst of doing so, either you're getting cut off or people are cutting you off because you can't control everything, okay? For some of y'all, y'all will be having, especially if you're dealing with a Taurus, there will be a balance coming back to the relationship and love, okay? For some of y'all, y'all dealing with a water sign. Uh, damn, Pisces, uh, Cancer, and Scorpio, okay? I do feel like if y'all dealing with that sign and it does involve children, the balance will be coming back to their relationship. I do feel like somebody got cut off and whoever got cut off, it's burdened the other person. Like, I feel like Libra, if you cut somebody off, it's you who feel the change of you cutting this person off, okay? But some of y'all, this is definitely an Aries Leo Sag. It could also be another uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius. But I'm looking at this as Libra. You may have cut off a fire sign, okay? Strong emphasis on Aries, but it's you who feel the change, though, in the cutoff, okay? And ironically, with cutting this person off, okay? And I, I strongly feel like, um, but some of y'all, this could be a boss, or someone who's like in charge. This could also be someone who some type of father figure or even a mother figure, okay? For some of y'all cutting this person off or cutting off the burdens that they bring to your life is going to move you into victor move you into victory. It's gonna move you towards being victorious, okay? But I do see um somebody is cutting off a burdensome a burdensome fire sign or air sign, okay? Some of y'all, some of y'all need clarity regarding the family situation, okay? Um, some of y'all, I do feel that this could be a situation that could involve child support court later. I don't know where I got that from, but I definitely feel that for some, for some because I'm seeing 
a courthouse and annex building in my pineal. Um, I'm gonna take all of them. They all feel all right. Okay, Libra. Some of y'all are wanting to move forward. Okay. And just leave the past behind, all right? Some of y'all, however, in order to do so, you're waiting on something to come forward. Some of y'all, it's messages that's coming forward that's going to shake, that's going to tear down a foundation, okay? It's definitely going to tear down a foundation, especially if you're dealing with the Sagittarius or a Leo. Something that you've been hanging in there for, you haven't strengthened the situation, especially if the communication has become childish with whomever the sign is, okay? You're trying to have strength in the situation. Strong emphasis on the Leo. They in this thing. If you're dealing with a Leo... The foundation that you guys have built could be possibly tearing down. There is love there, y'all, but y'all have lost balance in that situation. And it's becoming burdensome. And for some of y'all, y'all seeing that it's time to move on from it, okay? It's time to move on from it because when you move on from it, you take your power back. You take you take your power back. You take your focus back, okay? You become the emperor and you have victory in that shit, all right? For some of y'all, yeah, with that Leo, it's definitely, 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 um, you're ending a cycle to come into a new one. Some of y'all were possibly dealing with the Taurus, and maybe you were. I feel strongly some of y'all were dealing with either a Taurus or a Leo or someone in your energy with this Taurus, and it's because both of them are strong in y'all reading. So is Sagittarius and Aries. I feel like y'all are ending cycles for people to start new ones. However, some type of betrayal has to come to the surface first in order for that foundation to be firm again if you're in marriages with the person, okay? There's definitely something that needs to be communicated that's going to come to the surface between the 15th to the 30th, okay, for the 31st of July. And for some of y'all, it's going to bring change to your world in the, in the way that you saw things, people, places, and things. For some of y'all, y'all want to move forward with an Aries, okay? Y'all be y'all will be victorious in that. Some of y'all... Um, some of y'all are wanting to start a business. There is victory in that, but however, you got to get your balance back first, okay? You got to organize your life again and really pick and choose who can go and who cannot, okay? Who, whose burdens, whose burdens am I carrying? All these damn burdens my own? Well, if they not, fuck, why am I carrying? I'm going to cut this shit off, okay? A lot of y'all are cutting off burdens from situations, people, places, and things. Some of y'all do got new babies coming. I feel like these are catalytic children. Yep, definitely. Some of y'all got children coming with a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. Or if someone in your energy, if you're dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and you can't have babies, and you've been intuitively feeling that there's some kids that you don't know about, that shit could come to the forefront, okay? Um, Because there are, there is some, some secrets coming about Libra, and you finna get your mind right because again, Mercury and Mars is in retrograde. So I do see the communication around these secrets may not be so grand. Okay, you may not get the get the your message the way you want to hear them. You may not even deliver them the way the other people want to hear them, but they're necessary. It needs to happen, okay? Some of y'all are going to be moving away from other air signs, or maybe this is you moving away from the turbulent situations in your life to walk back into my power, to have my victory. Fuck all y'all. I'm leaving. I packed up. Fuck this shit out. I'm out. You know, and I feel like a lot of y'all have a younger, uh, a younger earth sign trying to give y'all start a new beginning with y'all. It is time for y'all to move away from cycles and walk into new ones. So I feel like when you're leaving the Taurus and you're dealing with a Leo, you finna walk the, into that new cycle with that Leo. If you're dealing with a Leo and you uh with this Taurus, okay, or you're married to someone, some of y'all could be going through divorce right now. Five brings change. Some of y'all finna drop them damn burdens and move forward in love into your new cycle. And you're going to be victorious in that. For those of you who are starting your own businesses and maybe you were looking to um, possibly uh, promote more or push out, it's telling me to tell you to nurture your business. Don't let your circumstances that you go through or the things around you affect where you're going, okay? But you're definitely needing a balance back, all right? For some of y'all, y'all trying to nurture a, a situation where there's kids involved, okay? And I do see there is victory, but you have to communicate first and drop the burdens in that relationship or that foundation, okay? For some of y'all, y'all are putting somebody on damn child support and just moving forward. And kudos to you, Libra. Get get your money, honey. And it nothing should stop you. No situation, person, place, or thing should stop you from being happy in no situation if happiness is what you desire. Okay? So y'all moving away from shit. And in moving away from that, do you bring true love, divine love, a balanced love? You're going through this balancing situation because God is not going to give you this brand new beginning. This brand new ace of this divine love, this divinity covered love for some of y'all is with a Pisces. God is not going to give you this, okay? 
and you're unappreciative of it. For some of y'all, this love is coming through children. Okay? For some of y'all, y'all might actually been a catalytic situation to get somebody pregnant if they was dealing with a Taurus. For some of y'all. And that baby is going to bring a many blessings. But it's also going to bring a lot of change and balance as well to your life. All right? And it's up to y'all now to make this judgment call. Or someone's making a judgment call on you. Evaluate the people in your life and what they brought to your life. If it's something that you can grow with, they deserve to go and go forward with you. If it's shit that has brought you down, made you feel less than, left you in uh, indecision mode or with no clarity, it's time to make a decision. Well, I, can, I, can I really move forward with this shit and attain the same balance and success to get my coins, to run my empire, to make sure my family operates the way that it's supposed to if I'm accepting this shit in my life? Some of y'all is with a fire sign, strong fire. But I feel like y'all have new, new coming if only y'all just choose to balance, balance things. Accept the things that you cannot control. The serenity prayer is going to be a great healing for y'all this month. Okay? Accept the things that you cannot control. And the things that you can control, put a muzzle on that shit. Really, 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 really put that shit into perspective. Let people know this is what I will and will not allow in my life. Because I'm 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 losing balance. Libra, y'all are walking a lot. Some of y'all are walking back into y'all power, walking back into this balance after letting go. But if you continue to hold on to a person who shows you that they are a person or a place, this is really the spirit says a person. A person who shows you that they don't give a damn about you, if you stay here, they finna run you in the mud. Period. Because you got a new, new, you have a place to be. You got new coming. Look at this. You got new. End that cycle to walk into your new. You got new. For some of y'all, you got new babies. Yes, honey. Congratulations. For some of y'all, first off, you have no idea. You staying in stuck mode, but you got the Ten of Pentacles here. Your money finna be God is trying to give you that happy life, happy wife, happy family. But you got to get out your own way. Ironically, I just seen two, 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 two. So I feel like some of y'all been seeing synchronicities of the two. Because I saw it with the three. I just didn't say nothing. But y'all been definitely seeing those synchronicities. Trust those synchronicities. If you've been seeing a lot of fives, know the change is coming to your life whether you want it to or not because it's, it's required change to give you back balance, Libra. Okay? If y'all need a reading, hit me up. This is what I have for my Libras from um, the 15th to the 31st of July. If you need that person, hit me up. I'm not 100% booked. But you got to choose yourself and just trust that if you drop them burdens of other people, because these, I feel strong, these is not even y'all burdens. Y'all fighting other people's fucking karma. Some mother karma is making her rounds. You cannot save everybody. Sometimes it's meant for people to get that work. Understand that, Libra. And once you understand that, you'll be so much better off. But some of y'all are severing great things and people in your life to save a bullshit person who in a year from now, you ain't even going to know them no more. For some of y'all, three months from now, not even going to know them no more. Because you're going to be too focused and too happy on doing Libra. Walking in your power, nurturing the things that you have built. Actually reaping the rewards of the seeds that you've sown. Everybody can't go with you. So when you get tired, you're going to put them down. But a lot of y'all finna put them down. Involuntarily. Because God is moving, baby. He's on the move. The universe is working for you. Mother is working for you. If only you allow it. And choose yourself. Alright? That's what I got for y'all. I love y'all, babies. I will be going live um, in a little bit with my q and A. I'm going to be picking 10, 10 to 15 questions for people um, to answer. My super chat does work. Okay? So I ain't going to be mad at y'all if y'all show the, the, the kids some, some love or whatever. And super. I'm going to be mad. I promise I'm going to be mad. I promise. Okay? <laughs> But I will be doing live Q&As, um, and hopefully y'all can catch that. I'm going to do it um, again, I believe, on the 12th, because y'all are the fourth video I got up for mid-month, so I'm going to do it on the 12th, and I think I'm going to do it again on like the 16th or something like that, once I get everybody uploaded for mid-month. So I love y'all, my babies.
I keep y'all very close to my heart. I send you much love, prosperity, abundance, blessings, truth, and light. Okay? Balance is on the way, baby. Bye, y'all.